This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. Motion graphics or animated backgrounds are a really great way to enhance and make your videos look more polished and dynamic. And in this After Effects tutorial, we will create an animated background in After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Also, this After Effects tutorial is inspired from one of the animation inside the Unreal backgrounds to which I have mentioned the link in the description below. So make sure you go ahead and check out. They have some amazing background animations. All right. So here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Then let's create a new composition which is going to be our circles comp. So I'm going to call this circle underscore 01. Hit OK. Let's select our ellipse tool and set the stroke to 70. We don't need any fill, so I can click on this small icon and make sure our fill is set to none. Hit OK. And then I can hold Ctrl and Shift at the same time and create a perfect circle. Let's align this into the center let's go into ellipse one ellipse path one and let's increase the size a bit something like let's go with something like 950 to be on a specific even number all right then let's go into this and click on add and add a trim path going to trim paths and start the end property and set the end property to 25 percent so we have something like this and then going to fix and preset and i'm going to use ramp that is gradient ramp to color this layer i'm going to move this point to right over here and move this one to right here all right i'm going to swap the colors and uh, for this one i can go with any color that i like so i'm going to go with something like a nice dark orange you can of course go with any color that you like i'm going to keep this one black all right so we have this nice gradient look now i can select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's hit u two times to reveal all the properties and bring down the size so i'm gonna so i'm gonna set this to something like 650 i think or maybe 700 that looks better then i can duplicate this hit ctrl hit ctrl d hit u two times to reveal all the properties and bring down the size to around 500 let's see maybe 450 all right and then finally duplicate this one more time hit ctrl d and hit u two times again and bring this down to around i guess 300 200 yeah perfect now what i'm going to do is place the gradient into the proper position so i'm going to select the gradient ramp and move these points like so i can zoom in a bit to be a bit more precise i can hold the shift to be a bit more precise as well so something like that all right let's select the second one let's select the third one select the gradient ramp and move this point to right over here and this one to right over here all right then select the second one select the gradient ramp i'm going to move this point here and move this one right here so we have this really nice gradient fall off for our shapes so let's go back into our render composition and let's select actually select the circle one composition into the project panel and hit Control D to duplicate it. So we have circle two. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna open that up. Let's create a new null object. I'm going to parent this into the center. Also, I'm gonna move the anchor point into the center so I can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and then link all the shape layers to this null object. If you don't see this parent and link option, you can click on this small area right here. Right click, you know, go into columns and there you'll find parent and link. All right. After linking this, I'm going to select this, hit S, unlink this, and let's um, set this to minus 100, I believe. Boom, there we go. And then what we need to do is select the layer, that is the shape layer, and select the gradient points and move this one right over here, just like so. And then I'm going to swap the colors. Uh, and for this one, for the orange color, I can go with a nice kind of a grayish blue color for now. 
you know something like that i'm going to select this control c to copy paste control c to copy it and paste it on the another layer so hit control v and all i have to do is move this point just like we did in the previous composition select this control v to paste it move this point like so and one more time there we go looking good let's go back into our render com now i can drag and drop in the circle one and circle two so we have something like this let's duplicate the circle one comp hit control d to duplicate it all right let's select the second one hit s and set this to minus 100 so we have something like that and same for the circle two so i'm going to select this hit control d hit s to bring down the scale properties and set this to minus 100 so we have this really nice look and then what i want to do is select the layer hit r and hold alt and click on the stopwatch and use a simple expression for rotation so i'm going to type in time times 20 and i'm going to copy this expression hit, and then i'm going to select the rotation go into edit copy with expression only i'm going to click on copy select all these three layers go to edit and click on paste and now boom there we have added the expression to all the rotation of these layers so if i hit r you can see all the expressions are added and we have this really nice animation pretty cool now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks as an editor how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation as an editor don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects what if i told you there is there is storyblocks storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty free stock video clips after effects templates motion graphics backgrounds intros and so much more everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old youtube videos which is super awesome Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called Maker. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan, I can download unlimited assets and use Maker and I only have to pay a single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below. So our shape is ready. We can go ahead and build up our complete design so i'm going to select this layers hit ctrl shift c to recompose it call this animation or you can of course call it whatever that you want i'm going to hit ok and then go to effects and preset and type in glow and add our default glow from after effects also i'm going to switch to 16 bits so i'm going to hold alt and click on the the small icon that you see right here so we so we switch to 16 bits per channel right click and create a new solid layer or, or you can hit ctrl y call this bg for background put this at the back go to effects and preset type in fill add it onto this one and make it pitch black all right and then i'm going to select this increase the glow radius really high something like you know, like that and bring up the threshold so somewhere around i think 75 looks good and for this i'm gonna set this to 450 so that is looking good i can place this shape maybe right over here and i'm gonna make sure the snapping is turned off so i can place this according to my personal preference i'm gonna select the layer hit ctrl d and maybe move this one right here also scale this down to around 70 percent i think you know that looks good and then i'm gonna attach it like so and to align this um, properly i'm gonna select this and let's set this to minus 70 actually so we have this kind of rotation and one thing that i wanted to do is just to make sure that it aligns uh, with the animation what i'm going to do is select this hit r and rotate this so i'm going to rotate it and keep it something like that now it's not gonna you know align exactly because we have changed the scale but it gives a really interesting look then I can select this at control D to duplicate it. Let's place one right here. I'm going to scale this up. So let's scale this something like that. And then add a fill on this and make it. Oh, make sure I drag and drop the fill here and make this one a nice kind of a darker gray color. 
and delete the glow from here all right and for the background i can use a very nice four color gradient to add a little bit of interesting look just go into effects and preset type in four hyphen color gradient all right now for the yellow i'm gonna pick with the orange color that we have for the green i'm gonna go with the black and for this one black as well and for the blue i'm gonna select the orange color but now you can see it doesn't look really good because we need to move this point here and move this orange point really far just like so so it just highlights the corner maybe you know something like that we can even make this a bit darker so that it's not that intense so i'm gonna pick with the same color boom that is looking good actually and for this one uh the background shape i'm gonna keep this maybe pitch black that looks much better yeah and then finally i can add in my own text you know so i'm gonna type in just like you saw in the example roller coaster i'm gonna make this full caps all right and for this one i'm using the heading pro font i will mention the link in the description in case if you want to use the same exact font and boom there we go there we have created a really interesting background now you can obviously do number of different things using this particular effect i'm using this as an extra element but you can also use this as a background and it would look really really cool for example i can place my text into the center let's say bring down the size a little bit you know i can place this into the center and let's hide this one i can create a bunch of copies hit ctrl d you place one right here select this one hit ctrl d you place one right here something like that you know let me scale this up a little bit just creating an interesting look you know overall and you can create some really cool looking backgrounds using this technique so yeah that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create an interesting and dynamic looking motion graphic backgrounds inside of after effects that too without using any plugins if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and comment down below if you really enjoy it and if you're watching my video for the very first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always Stay raw, stay creative, peace out.